In the last three years, the natural state has lost over 1,200 Arkansans from drug overdoses. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, state leaders are coming together to still spread their message about the opioid epidemic. Our Alexis Wainwright spoke with some people behind the campaign this year and has more. Methamphetamine has always been our number one drug threat in the state of Arkansas. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of poly drug deaths where drugs are mixed together. And most alarming, we're seeing fentanyl. During Red Ribbon Week, state leaders are concentrating on opioids and the toll it's taken on the natural state. State Drug Director Kirk Lane says, fortunately, the state's numbers are going down. In 2019, a 352 overdose deaths, 18.1%. Uh, from 2018, we had 426 overdose deaths, so we're trending the right way. But he, along with other executives, are still hosting programs to keep our Kansans on the right track. Our law enforcement is not going to arrest their way out of this problem. Uh, this is a problem that goes beyond law enforcement and really needing to have those conversations. And every year these conversations are had at annual events, but things are different because of the pandemic this year. Well, on top of this epidemic, we have a pandemic, so I'm, we are a little concerned about what the numbers are going to look like next year. They are hosting virtual events and showing a special documentary for everyone to watch. State leaders say this year it's just as important because there's probably more stress for people now. COVID doesn't seem to be getting any better, so we're still going to have have those stressors out there. Lane says the majority of people overdosing are between the ages of 25 and 50. Drugs are bad. We know drugs are bad. And there has no place in our society. In Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.